If you're a fan of cinnamon rolls, you're going to love this gluten-free version. They're really easy to make. Let me show you how. First of all, I need to warm up some milk so it's around 40 degrees. And then I'm gonna add some sugar and some dried yeast, give it a really good stir and leave it to activate for about five to 10 minutes. Now you want this to go nice and frothy, a bit like a pint of beer. So that's what we're aiming for. And I put some tips in the written recipe, which is linked in the description, just in case your yeast doesn't froth up properly. Now, once this is ready, we've basically got to make the dough. So I'm adding my gluten-free white bread flour and that's got some xanthan gum included. I'm also adding the yeast mixture, some melted butter, a beaten egg and some vanilla extract. Give it a really good stir and it will start to form a thick, sticky dough. So when it gets really thick, you can get in there with your hands, but it is gonna be quite sticky. So I'd recommend using wet or floured hands to handle this. Once your dough is ready, turn it out onto some cling film, which is essential for making sure it doesn't stick. Then I'm using wet hands to just shape this into a rectangle. And I'm gonna also use a dough scraper just to make sure I get some nice neat edges. And then you're gonna put some more cling film on top and roll it out into a big rectangle. Now there's approximate measurements which are about 30 by 40 centimeters, but you want it to be about four millimeters thick. And I'm just gonna use this dough scraper to keep bringing it back into a nice neat shape. Once you've got your rectangle, we're gonna brush on some melted butter. Now this is what's gonna form the middle of the cinnamon rolls. And once that's completely covered, I'm mixing some ground cinnamon into some light brown sugar, give it a really good stir, and then sprinkle it evenly on top of the dough. And then we're gonna use the cling film to help us roll this into a lovely swirl. So you wanna start from the long edge and bring it in towards you until you've got a nice cylinder. And the cling film is really helpful for this. Without it, you're gonna struggle. <laughs> And then I'm gonna cut it into 12 pieces. Now, please excuse the fact that this is not done very evenly, but you roughly wanna cut it into four and then cut each quarter into three relatively equal sized pieces. And then I'm just gonna carefully pick them up and pop them like this in the tray. I've lightly oiled the tray so that they don't stick and you want the swirl to be facing upwards. Now they should go in three rows or four or four rows of three depending on how you wanna look at it. Once they're all in the tray, they should just fit nicely like this. It doesn't matter if they're touching, that's absolutely fine. I'm gonna cover them with cling film and then leave them to prove for about an hour. And you can see how they've puffed up and they're touching even more now, which is great. These are ready to go in the oven. So I'm gonna bake them in a nice hot oven until they come out lovely and golden brown like this. Now you're gonna to want to leave them for about half an hour until you ice them and then just make a nice thick icing. And again, don't forget the whole recipe is linked in the description below with all the quantities for this recipe. And once you've done that, your cinnamon buns are ready to eat. I recommend eating them while they're still warm and you can also freeze them as well. If you're eating them the next day, make sure you just give them a little bit of a refresh in the microwave or oven and they'll be absolutely good as new. So if you like this recipe, please hit subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you again for more recipes very soon.